Hi everyone, this is Nathan with the ebookreader.com. I thought I'd go ahead and give you guys a tour of Android 4.0 on the Nook tablet today. Uh, the developers over at XDA have been working hard on porting uh, CM9 to the Nook tablet, so this is the alpha release, it's still an early release. Um, some of the stuff doesn't work like the microphone and hardware acceleration, and you don't want to let it go to sleep because a lot of times it won't wake up, you'll have to restart. But other than that, I've been actually very surprised how smooth this thing is running already. Um, as you can see, there's some kind of lines when you scroll and it does that when you're playing games and stuff too, but other than that, uh, everything's pretty smooth on here already. Uh, we'll go ahead and we've got a lot of the ice cream sandwich features. You've got your recent apps list over here. You can just slide close and you've got the notifications down here. You can slide as well and you've got your quick menu here, so auto rotation works. Um, about the only thing that major that doesn't work is the uh, video acceleration, so you're not going to be able to watch like Netflix or uh, HD YouTube videos. Uh, the regular definition YouTube videos do seem to work okay. Let's show you uh, Android 4.0 on the Kindle Fire, ironically. You just got to hit the HD off, and then it will go ahead and run pretty well once it loads. Hi everyone, this is Nathan with ebookreader.com. For this video review, I'm going to give you guys a look at Android 4.0 on the Kindle Fire. So all you got to do is root your Kindle Fire and then use Twerp to install this custom ROM. Uh, you can check out my early... Uh, so I've got some other apps installed on here. I went ahead and installed the... I flashed the ice cream sandwich package on here. So I'll show you how to install all this stuff in a different video if you'd like. Uh, just for this video, I'm going to show you sort of how everything works. Um, so I went ahead and installed the ice cream sandwich uh, Google Apps on here, flashed it right after a flashing uh, CM9, and everything worked well. I've got the Google Apps on here. You can install all this stuff. Um, it's called the Google Play Store now, so it's not the Android market. Uh, we've got the Google Apps. I downloaded a couple of games, and they did work well. I downloaded a few other apps, so we've got the Google Apps, and they are working well. The Calendar, Gmail, um, some of the other stuff we've got in here, of course, with Ice Cream Sandwich. You've got the widgets. There's a bunch of different widgets in here. You can just drag those to your home screens. And we've got the different backgrounds, of course, the different wallpapers. So the live wallpapers work pretty well. Okay, so obviously once you flash ROM on here, you get rid of all your Nook apps, but uh, you can still use your Nook for Android e-reading app. It's actually a pretty nice app as far as e-reading apps go. It's got the page turn animations, and of course you can switch over uh, to portrait mode, and you've got the different text options. Obviously you're not going to have access to the Nook App Store, however, so you just have the Barnes & Noble e-reading app. So they've got the web browser icon on here. I like the web browser. It's working pretty smoothly. Gallery. I don't have any pictures on here other than a couple of screenshots. That's one thing you can do with uh, hold down the power button. You can easily get an option to take a screenshot right there. Okay, so I tested a couple of games and they seem to be working well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at uh, Android 4.0 on the Nook tablet. So the next video, I'm just going to move into directly showing you how to install this on the Nook tablet. Um, so check that out if you want to try it.